right, for this project, you're gonna need a really cute one-year-old. Kidding on that part, but she's part of the deal here. You're gonna need some paint. I happen to just have some leftover paint from another accent wall that I did. Then I have a paint tray that I'm gonna be pouring the paint into. I also have a paintbrush just in case I need it to wipe off excess paint. Then I'm gonna need three normal kitchen sponges. You can use any sponge you have. I happen to have this kind. And I have three of them. They're gonna be cut in half. And a hot glue gun with hot glue, of course. And then I have a cardboard box or any kind of piece of cardboard or even like an old scrap piece of wood would work and a scissors. All right, I gotta get this little monkey off the table and then, yeah, monkey, let's get started. Are you gonna paint? First step one, you're going to take a cardboard box. You can see this was a box that I flattened and you're gonna cut out a section of it. You want the cardboard that you're using to be pretty sturdy. So like I said before, it's okay to use an old board if that's what you have. I'm going to cut out a section and then we will start our hot glue process. So while you are cutting this out, plug in that hot glue gun to get it ready for the next step. All right, I'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, my hot glue is still heating up, but while I'm waiting, I'm going to take my sponges and I'm going to be cutting each of them in half. All right, I'm using just a kitchen shears. That's what I have. I'm all about keeping it simple. Slicing them in half, you could use a knife. Like whatever you got, that's what you should use. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I free-handed some fees. They're not perfect, but this wall won't be perfect either. And now I'm gonna be ready to glue my sponges onto the marks that I made. Each sponge is one side of the V. All right, getting that hot glue ready. Let's do this. All right, last step to making this stencil, you're gonna wanna check to make sure they're all the same height if you did that trimming step. And I can see this one right here. It needs to be trimmed just a little bit. That's gonna be important so that when you're dipping into the paint, the paint is being dispersed evenly. So, I'm just gonna do a quick trim on this one, and then we are all set for paint. All right, awesome. There we go. Perfectly imperfect, just the way I want it. Okay, the kids are at Grandma and Grandpa's, and now I am ready to start this super fun project. So, of course, I'm gonna stir my paint. It's been sitting for a while now using what I have, which is a large piece of scrap wood. Here's what you got, no need to buy new things. And I'm going to pour a little bit into my liner, and then I wanna test my stamp before I actually use it. It's possible there's some faulty sponges, so we're gonna check that out. So I'm gonna pour just enough to do my test run with, and my paint is from Menards. It's a Dutch boy paint and it's called Petrol Blue. It's a beautiful color. All right, here's my stencil. I am going to paint the paint onto the sponges. So, with my brush, you can use any size brush you have, it won't matter. All right, we're gonna brush the paint on. And remember, it's a sponge. There's going to be little holes and gaps and nothing about this is supposed to be perfect, so. You gotta let go of any perfectionistic qualities you might have. All right, I'm lathering my sponges up, but not too heavily either, or my lines are gonna look funky. All right, I'm gonna go through one more time because obviously paint gets soaked up pretty good on a sponge. Literally painting the sponges lightly. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm just using scrap paper. It's my kid's um, writing paper, actually. All right, let's see. Now I wanna make sure every sponge hits the paper. I'm gonna hold it there for a second, wiggle it around a little bit, but not too much, and then I'm gonna lift it straight up. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be adorable. One thing to think of, if you have any kind of space, 
and you're doing a project like this, it's a good idea, hey kitty, to kind of decide how much space you're going to need. I don't wanna just get up there and start doing this because if I run out of room and I have to do like a half roll or it's not centered, it's going to drive me nuts. So do yourself a favor and either use painter's tape to mark where your rows are going to go or you can do it my way, which is I'm just gonna take a little pencil, I'm gonna eyeball it, mark where my rows are gonna go, and then start the fun. All right, let's do this. That was actually easier than I even anticipated it being. So I did one row, it's not perfect, don't, worry. The whole idea is for it to not be perfect. I love projects that I can do without a lot of thought, without a lot of prep, and without a lot of money. And let me tell you, this is going to be one. Let's get the rest of the paint up on the wall. I cannot wait to see the finished product. loving this wall. I do have one more row to go and because it's not perfect, you can guess it goes a little bit this way, I'm gonna go ahead and take my stencil and I'm gonna trim the edge off so that I can get a little bit closer to the wall. Because my wall is starting as a blank canvas, you won't be able to notice it's a little off-centered and if you can, I still don't care because like I said before, the imperfection is what makes this wall so cool. All right, let's trim and do our last row. That's it, the project is now complete. For minimal materials and minimal cost, I now have a high impact accent wall that was super easy to do and literally took me 15 minutes. I hope that you enjoy this project as much as I did. One last thing to mention, when I completely finished, I popped one of the sponges off of my stencil and I just did a couple touch-ups where it was just a little lighter than I wanted it to be. Super easy to do, you guys are gonna love this project. Until next time, this is Amanda from the Flourishing Farmhouse. Everyone, have a great day.